So last night I availed of the M1 expansion from Korg and this is the email that I got. So I'm going to download this file. So according to this, it's a zip file. So I'll be downloading that into my computer. And it takes me to their website and download now. So here it is M1 for Nautilus. It's a zip file. So let's open that one. and we get a folder and let's have a look at the folder and inside it we have PDF instructions and the M1 for Nautilus zip file so there's a zip file within the zip file in the folder alright so let's unzip that one M1 for Nautilus version 1 is right here in inside this folder we'll find PCG SNG and KSC. So there are samples included in this update. Let's transfer that into a USB. Let's go ahead and drag the files into the USB stick. So I'd assume that there'd be sample data already in the Nautilus and they're adding some more sample data via that KSC file. Okay, so I've got the files in my USB stick and I'll put that in the A port of the USB. Let's go to media open up the USB stick so I've got it there M1 for Nautilus version 1 and let me open that again and these are all the files we saw earlier and so if you use a Mac you'll see that there's an underscore in front of some of the file names and you'll see that the size is 4k so just ignore these files do not load these files okay these are th these are garbage files so you can even delete them. So do not confuse them for the actual files which are here. So if it's a correct file, it should read, it shouldn't be 4K, okay? And there shouldn't be a um, underscore in front of them. So let's just select these. I'm just gonna select these and delete them because we don't want to confuse them for the right thing. Uh, we don't want to confuse them and load them and get an error message. So we go to select and utility and I'm gonna delete that garbage out of my disk and now it looks cleaner I'm gonna go up and I'm just gonna choose M1 for Nautilus we want that file to be copied onto your HDD so right now we're in the USB stick and it's RDD um, select M1 for Nautilus we're in utility copy and I'll transfer that into the HD. So I'm going to paste M1 for Nautilus into the root directory of my HDD. Because the file contains some sample data, you have to have it in your hard drive. So once you've copied that into your hard drive, just pull out the USB sticks. So I've pulled out the USB so I don't accidentally add the sample data into my auto load from here. M1 for Nautilus is right here on the root directory of the HD. Okay, before I load anything onto my Nautilus, I have to make sure that my Nautilus is backed up so that I don't overwrite anything. And usually it's just a PCG I'm worried about. If you have song data, um, do save all. In my case, I don't save my songs onto um, the Nautilus, so I'm happy to just save the PCG. I have a folder on my HD called PCG. I'm going to open that and I'm just going to do a save. Go to save. Save PCG. And I'm just going to call this pre M1. Okay. And that just secures my stuff in case things get overwritten. And I can always just reload that and not have to worry about anything being permanently erased. I've got M1 for Nautilus. I'm going to open that folder and have a look at what's in here. So we have M1 for Nautilus. Okay, so this folder, this M1 for Nautilus folder and this M1 for Nautilus KSC must be together at all times because this KSC will refer to that uh, that sample data and M1 for Nautilus PCG contains your programs 
your combis and global settings. Let's have a look inside as well. M1 for PC, uh, M1 for Nautilus PCG. I'm going to open that. And I can see that there's set lists, programs, combis, and drum kits. Okay. So let's just see where these load into. So let's have a look at the set list. So set lists are in 00 and 001. So if you already have existing set lists, you don't want to overwrite that. Make sure you load this separately. Programs are going to be in bank M. And as, as far as I know, I don't have anything in my bank M. So that's great. And combinations are going to be in bank M as well. So I think I have one combi in bank M. Running up the hill is in bank M. So all I have to do is get that out of the way. So running up the hill, I'm going to save that somewhere else. Somewhere empty. And pretty much the whole keyboard's empty uh, as far as combinations go. So I'm going to put that in C1. Running up the hill, it's going to be there. And I'll be happy to just overwrite that. Okay. I have it backed up anyways as well. So if I do it, erase anything, that's fine. Okay. So I think this uh, is pretty much clear to load. Uh, do I have any set lists? So I have my ultimate covers set lists in uh, set one. So I don't want to overwrite that. So I will load these uh, one by one instead of loading the entire PCG. When loading a PCG file, it's a good idea to inspect it first before actually going ahead and loading it blindly uh, because there's always a danger of data being erased. Whatever's in the PCG will overwrite any existing data in those same slots. So before you load anything, make sure you have a look inside your PCG and ensure that there aren't any conflicts in the destination banks or slots. I will open that and load my programs, combinations, and drum kits. I don't have any custom drum kits, so I can go ahead and overwrite that. So I will load all three in one go. I don't have any data in those existing slots. Now, if you have a brand new Nautilus and you don't have any user data, just go ahead and load the whole thing as is. But I think the thing to, to uh, watch out for is your set lists. So I'm going to open the set lists folder and there are two custom set lists. One occupies 00 and the other one occupies 001. So I will multi I'll do a multiple select. I'll select the first set list and the second set list. And go to load load that and I can actually select the destination set list to an empty one so I'm gonna put it to set list 2 and set list 3 I'm just gonna select set list 2 and set list 3 will automatically be selected for the second set list that's selected so m1 programs will go to 002 and m1 combis will go to 003 so I'm going to go to set list. So there's the samples not loaded message here. And that just means that I haven't loaded the KSC file. Now, because I already have that folder onto my HD, I can just go ahead to the program itself in program mode, universe, and I can select this, do the drop down, and load required samples. And load only required samples or load complete bank. So I'll just go ahead and load the complete bank and load that. And I can go ahead and listen to this. So the samples that we loaded are now stored in sampling mode. So what I'm going to do is resave the sampling data and create a user bank KSC for this because I don't want it to be in my sampling mode whenever I use my Nautilus. What I'm going to do is go to mode media and I'm going to go up and I'm going to go to that KSC file. Um, M1 for Nautilus KSC. I'm going to load that 
and I'm gonna clear all and I'm gonna save sampling data and when I do that it will create a user bank KSC and that's what I'll be adding into my global auto load if I go to sampling mode here you go sampling and here are the M1 samples occupying sampling mode and I really don't want it to occupy sampling mode because I'm reserving that for the stuff that I make. I'm going to go back to disk mode or media mode and save, save sampling data is what I'm going to do. Both sampling mode and links is it what I want. And now it has created a user bank KSC file. All right, user bank KSC. And I'm going to add this to my KSC auto load instead of the KSC itself. So I'm going to go back to mode and global because the KSC will occupy sampling mode. And I don't want to do that. I want the samples to be read out of my hard drive instead of being loaded into sampling mode. So I'm going to go ahead and add KSC and choose user bank KSC and add. And I'm going to do auto load now and it's going to restore all my samples. But this time with the brand new user bank KSC file. Because I save the sampling data along with the links, when I load this programs in the M1 will, will now point to the hard drive. Now let's see what's actually in it. Go check out program and have a look at that. It is now a multi sample and it now has M1 for Nautilus. It's no longer pointing to sampling mode, which is exactly what I want. It has its own HD internal location. All right. All right. So that's how you load the M1 pack from Korg UK. And um, yeah, have fun with that. See ya. Bye.